Hi, I'm Stevie. I'm the manager of marketing, online learning, and business systems at the University of Winnipeg Pace. And I'm Miriam, and I'm the digital engagement coordinator here at the University of Winnipeg Professional Applied and Continuing Education Department. So Miriam, yes Stevie? I've been at Pace for over 20 years, so I'm the person that's been here the second longest, mm -hmm. and you are our newest employer. That's right. Employee. Yeah, I've been here for three months. Three months. So um, what's your perspective on Pace? What do you think makes it the best choice for students? I think that choosing a PACE program at the University of Winnipeg is really something that sets you apart in the labor market when you come to Winnipeg. I walked into the building three months ago, didn't know anything about the university's programs here, and I was just blown away by the students, by the staff, by the really great instructors that we have here. Um, I remember in my first week I attended um, a potluck dinner sending off the program management um, students or the project management students that were just completing their year of study. And we were in one of the classrooms and there was food and there were instructors. Dancing. There was dancing and the instructors stood up and they talked about why this experience is special for them. And we had some students stand up and talk about why the experience was special from a student's perspective and what they learned. And what I thought was amazing about that were there are students that come to us with PhDs yes. and they find something new in our programs. There are students that come with only maybe a couple of years of work experience or they have a little bit of education behind them and they're really looking for something that is gonna take them to the next level and our programs offer that again and again. What we always think of when our students come to PACE, especially our international students, you become part of our family. You're here for a year, we integrate you into the Canadian culture as well as we really want to learn about your culture. So we have a lot of fun activities to kind of bring that out. We have a huge party in January uh, because that is our coldest month, we want to spice it up. We do a big cultural evening where we have people perform uh, globally tradition dances, they they sing, we do a fashion show, and we all come together. I think there's about 400 people in all, and we have our students fully involved in the planning, uh, the execution, and the delivery of the entire event. And this event has won an award in Winnipeg, it actually. It's won an award for all of North America as one of the best student-driven events that bring diversity and culture into the classroom. And that's just one of the great opportunities that we have here to get involved inside the classroom and outside the classroom. So from one of the oldest employees to one of the newest employees, we would love to see you at University of Winnipeg Pace in the heart of Canada. See you soon. Apply today. My name is Nikki and I'm the admissions coordinator here at PACE and I oversee the entire admissions process so as you're going through the process if you have any questions at all I'm the one that you're going to email and I'm going to get back to you very quickly and uh, help you out in any way I can and our online application is super easy to navigate you'll find a button on our website a big apply now button you'll click that you'll start an account and then there's some required documents we'll want you to upload uh, including transcript resume um, if you've met the language requirement you can upload that um, if not that's fine it's not required at this stage um, and then once you've uploaded all of the choir documents you'll see a nice big submit application button you'll submit that and then pay the $125 application fee so once you hit submit uh, and all your application documents are submitted and received we'll review that your file and issue an acceptance letter within two weeks from that point, once you've got that acceptance letter, there are some important um, payment deadlines, um, which will send you information on when those dates are, but you'll wanna pay attention to that. Make sure you submit your deposit in time. And then once you have your study permit approval, we need that to confirm your space. So the two, two important parts of that are meet the deposit due date, we'll give you lots of information on when that is and how much to pay, and then submit your study permit as soon as possible. So. Definitely apply for that study permit early um, and 
watch out for those payment deadlines. Yeah. If you're wondering when those application deadlines are, for September, programs beginning in September, the deadline is May 15th. For programs beginning January, February, that deadline is September 15th. And for programs beginning in May, the deadline is January 15th. I highly recommend submitting your application much earlier than the deadlines as our programs do fill up early. Bye. Hi there, my name is Rhonda and I'm an enrollment advisor at PACE. I get to help assist students make the most monumental decision of their educational lifetime. Uh, when meeting with students, uh, I typically ask them what their goals are and a lot of times I get back from students that they are looking uh, for a Canadian education, uh, for marketable credentials, and most importantly, they're looking for an amazing student experience. Well, guess what? We got it. Um, we have a robust student life uh, committee and activities throughout the year. Uh, so beyond our academics and student successes, uh, we do try to focus on bringing some fun and energy through your program. As a lot of our students are international, we want to give them the feeling of home. Uh, so we have many events throughout the year, uh, some of which are called potlucks. Potlucks are um, little gatherings in which you bring food from your home countries and you get to share it with your classmates. Um, and then we have things like learn how to sing karaoke or um, meet up with some friends and do a tour of the city. Uh, some of the career focused uh, activities we have would be some networking events. Uh, one is called a career hub when you're nearing completion. You can come and meet with industry professionals from your field and they will give you advice on how to break into the field, uh, interview techniques, uh, dress codes, all different types of topics that really help our students to uh, get to that next level. So I actually am a PACE graduate, so I can testify to the fact that not only are our programs quality, uh, the education, the teachers, the instructors, the, the PACE staff and administration, there's so much support and help here for you. Um, and in the end, um, well, it worked out well for me because uh, I secured a position within the PACE team right after graduation, so it can happen here for you. So we really look forward to seeing you at PACE. If you have any questions, uh, we have a PACE full-time email address, paceft at uwinnipeg.ca. I will be the one personally answering those questions. If you prefer a phone call, we can do that as well. Uh, we're here for you. We want to give you all the support that you need to make that right decision uh, in choosing PACE. Make it your place. Hi, I'm Gina. I work for the University of Winnipeg Pace, professional applied and continuing education. In my role, it's a cool job. I tell everybody I have the coolest job and I am the internship coordinator for all the full-time programs. I am hoping that I will be able to see some of your great faces here at the University of Winnipeg and that I would have the opportunity to work with you through the internship. The internship is a four-week work experience that our students choose before going into the workplace and after the program completion. Um, I work with employers throughout the city of Winnipeg to find work placements. I work with large organizations, small organizations. I work with government employers, not-for-profit. I get these employers um, coming to board with position descriptions for our students. Uh, we treat the job search, or we treat the internship just like a job search. So I will research uh, organizations within the city. They come aboard uh, because the University of Winnipeg has a great reputation, so we have no shortage of opportunities for our students. I will be placing the, or I place the students with the internship. That's uh, completely my role, not for the students to worry about. I do all the research for you and all the back background work for you. Uh, I will, we treat it just like a job search, so I place the position descriptions on a job board for students to apply to. Students are ready to go with resumes and cover letters to apply to the work placements. The students are then interviewed and selected for the job placement. So it's just like a job search. It mimics an entire job search. 
we have lots of success with the internship. The students find that the work placements are so valuable and really bridge the gap between education and career search. Our employers are thrilled from placement to placement and intake to intake. They are thrilled and actually um, feeling that the students are have the skill set that they wouldn't have ordinarily found if they were just um, on a job board somewhere that, that our students are really ready to go. The internship really serves as a great and a safe sort of environment for the students to finish their education, uh, apply their skills, be under a seasoned mentor in that organization, and then from there do their learning and go into the job search or going to job search. So our students really are ready to hit the ground running. They go from almost like a zero to a hero. Um, very loose term, but um, that is how our students, they're ready to go. I have great success stories to share with my students. Some of them actually land jobs right out of their internship. Uh, some of my students do so well in the interview, so it makes it so difficult for our employers to select only one student for the placement. So um, I've had success stories where a year later, an employer has a job opening and contacts me to ask me about students that they interviewed the year before. Uh, some of my students are getting contracts right after the internship. Uh, six months, 12 years, job right after, references, networking opportunities. There's a lot that comes out of the internship. Um, it's a great avenue to choose um, and a great reason to choose our programs because uh, our students are uh, ready to go right after the internship, right after the program. So looking forward to seeing you and hopefully you make the selection at the University of Winnipeg. We'd love to see you here and love to work with you.